One, two, three. Was how math started for you and me? One plus one is equal to two. We started with counting, then learned addition to. Subtraction, multiplication, division. Math in primary education. Gone are the days when math was just a numbers. When we get to high school, they added letters. Y is equal to mx plus b. The slope intercept form, confusing as can be, we often ask, what is this for? When we think of math, we ask things like, why do we need to learn that? I won't be buying fish with x plus y. We often scratch our heads and sigh. We didn't quite understand the equations or how they could possibly be used in real life situations. Then came Jack 104, Math in the Modern World. Math again? But this time, it's different. We won't be solving for x and y, but we'll look at math in real life. You see, there's more to math that meets the eye. You'll see what I mean, let me tell you why. Truth table. Is a statement true or false? Use a truth table to find its truth value. If p implies q, is it false or is it true? And is the conjunction. As or is the disjunction. If x then y is the conditionals. As x if and only if y is the biconditionals. True or false, false or true. It could be confusing for me and you. But practice makes perfect. Why not give it a try too? Logical fallacies. With the help of a truth table, fallacious statements are discernible. Let me introduce you to modus ponens, a part of the rules of inference. Learn the laws of logical fallacies. Seemingly correct but contains flaws and inaccuracies. Euler's diagram, an artwork to simplify relationships that have been mystified. To evaluate validity of concepts shown mathematically. A diagram made to test probability. To draw a conclusion without fallacy, the interior shows the elements of the set, while the exterior represents all the elements not belonging to the set. Patterns in nature. Take a second to look around. At flowers whose petals are always one, two, three, five, or eight. At shells whose spirals are golden, not the metal, but 1.618. At our bodies, take a nice look. They are symmetrical and golden too. Look around and see. There's more math than what we thought there would be. Patterns full, full of beauty. beauty. In, In nature, nature, you can, can see. see. Fibonacci sequence and numbers. 1, 1, 2, and 3, 5, and 8. Repeat the pattern. See this Fibonacci sequence is what I used here to write the short poem a fib. Golden ratio and spiral. To be perfect seems impossible, but mathematics says otherwise. There's a special number, 1.618. It doesn't seem that great, but it is the golden ratio, also called as the divine ratio. Irrational as it is, that can be seen in many patterns, in our bodies, in nature, in art, as well as in architecture. Tessellations Geometric shapes on flat surface Patterns called tiles Similar shapes made of lines Found in nature Structured to form a wondrous picture No gaps No overlaps The idea of symmetry Fabricated within thee Made to fit with one another perfectly Born, Born to, to be, be a thing, thing of, of beauty. beauty Fractals A branch of mathematics and art to beauty an integral part the repeating patterns in self-similar ferns structures produced by nature filled with infinite intricacy zoom in and find symmetry complexity that sprung from simplicity discover bottomless wonders in nature that awaits numerous encounters music and dance one two three four you wonder what these numbers are for 5, 6, 7, 8, they don't seem that great. We take for granted that in dancing, we also need a rhythm and counting. Yes, there's math in dancing, and even in singing. There's math in music. It starts in the basics. Every beat, every melody, must be in harmony, in perfect synchrony. Data visualization. 
data and numbers we can read. But to really see this, graphs and charts are what we need. Bars and pies and lines turns those numbers into images in our minds. Want to tell a secret? Let me tell you how to do it. Get a cipher wheel. That's what you'll need to encrypt your message into what seems like gibberish. How it was done, you shall tell no one. Except those whom you trust. Let them decrypt the message. Tell them, this shall remain between us. Statistics Data collection and analysis. The wonderful world of statistics. From a population, you take a portion, a sample, and a stand code. A few or a lot taken from them all. Nominal, ordinal, ratio, and interval. Collecting and measuring the data we need, then to analysis we shall proceed. In research, this can be used to benefit you and me. From education and business to medicine and economics. You see, there's more to math than meets the eye. You'll see what I mean. I just told you why. Math is everywhere. We can see it if we just looked closer. There, there are patterns, patterns here, here and there, there in man-made man creations, creations and even in nature. Math is not just numbers and letters. It's not just about equations and factors.